Hello everyone and welcome to another recommends video. In this video, we will be talking about the vampires of Peter Watts Firefall series and how they are different from other vampires that we have read about in books or seen on TV. Before we begin, do me a favor and subscribe, give us a like and drop us a comment. When we are first introduced to Peter Watts vampires, it's in the book Blind Sight. And the first vampire we are introduced to is Jocka Sarasti. And he is the captain of the Theseus. At least that's what we are led to believe until the very end of the book. It turns out that he wasn't the captain of the Theseus after all. He was just the second in command. The true captain of the Theseus was the AI. But he was in charge of the humans aboard the ship while the AI was in charge of the mission. Now the second vampire that we are introduced to is in the book Echopratia, which is a sequel or more accurately a sidequel to Blind Sight, since the events in that book are happening at the same time as the events that happened in Blind Sight. And that vampire's name is Valerie. She is one of the vampires that escaped from the Pfizer farm lab at the beginning of the novel and she ends up going on the ship the crown of thorns with the bicameral order. Now in this universe, the vampires were discovered and created by accident. Now Pfizer Farm was working to cure a nine-year-old boy of his autism. They used a retrovirus to rewrite some genes that they thought was the cause of his condition. Some eight weeks after the treatment, he began to change. His eyes changed so that they were like those of nocturnal predators. He became more active during the night and would sleep during the day and his strength increased. But 16 weeks into the therapy, he died of convulsions that they caused. Apparently, they were trying to get him to look at a display and when he refused, they strapped him down, pinned his eyes open so he'd be forced to look at it. That action caused him to go into convulsions and he died. Now it turns out that it wasn't the pictures themselves that caused the problem. It was the shape of the borders between the pictures that caused his seizures. And that will turn out to be one of the vampire's major weaknesses. Now the scientist at Pfizer Farm was quite pleased because while he ended up dying, the Pfizer Farm therapies that they gave him did in fact cure his autism. He ended up being a very highly intelligent young man. So they continued with their experiments, this time on Texas death row inmates. And what they ultimately succeeded in doing was to activate some genes that lie dormant within humans. And those genes once belonged to an offshoot of the human species that began about four to five hundred thousand years ago and died out sometime within the past two thousand years. And that offshoot species is what became known as vampires. Now the differences between vampires and humans is that the vampires tend to be taller with elongated limbs, have an extended mandible and extended canines, reflected retina and iocones, which allows them to see in the infrared spectrum. And vampires are highly intelligent, like some savants who are able to see a large group of items and know immediately how much are in there. Well, vampires can do the same thing, only they can do it for everything, not just for mathematical problems, but for highly complex solutions. They can immediately see what the solution will be, which explains why Valerie and her other vampire escapees didn't have to plan their escape together. They all would have come up with the same solution to escape in the lab. Another thing is that prey tend to breed faster than their predator, which keeps the predator from wiping out its food source. But vampires had a problem. Their rate of reproduction was the same as regular humans. Now vampires couldn't turn to a different food source because there was a protein that's only available in humanids that they did not produce and they needed to survive. Which means humans were essential prey for their survival. And since their reproductive rates was the same as humans, it was possible for them to wipe out their prey and thus become extinct themselves. So nature came up with a solution. Vampires can hibernate for decades at a time. So they end up looking like beef jerky when they hibernate for that long. But they solved the problem by giving the prey time to recover, allowing the prey time to forget, and reducing food consumption. Another thing with vampires is that they are solitary creatures. Put two vampires together and they will fight to the death. Another thing is that vampires can survive in the day. It's just that the sunlight hurts their eyes so they prefer to hunt at night. 
And the reasons that vampires died out is because humans developed architecture. You see, what causes vampires to go into convulsions are straight right angles, which are very rare in nature. But when humans began developing architecture, their buildings and their crosses and stuff like that all have straight right angles, which was the beginning of the end for the vampire. Now, how vampires reproduce was a subject of debate because if every time a vampire bites a human, he turns into another vampire, then pretty soon you're going to have more vampires than you have food. But vampires can breed with regular humans because technically they're not a separate species. Well, the scientists at Pfizer Farm came up with a brilliant idea. Since vampires are so smart, we will use them to solve our problems. So they began changing criminals into vampires and then they developed a pill that will help them control their seizures and without this drug in our modern world with all its right angles they will die. So that gives the scientists and Pfizer Farm control of the vampires. And they were positive that nothing could go wrong. And that my friends is Peter Wells vampires how they came to be and their weaknesses and strengths. I want to thank you for watching and listening. Subscribe if you haven't. Give us a like and drop us a comment and I will see you in the next video.